Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with the new British and Irish Lions tour mode on Rugby Union Team Manager 3. Now we're going to blast out the whole British and Irish Lions tour on this game and check out the new mode. But before we do, please do drop a like if you enjoy this content. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Have I made the right selections for the British and Irish Lions? What do you think of this new game mode? I get back to all of the comments. And if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button. So here we are, once uh, the update is on your game, you'll load up the usual Rugby Union Team Manager 3, and then in the right corner here, there will be the British and Irish Cats Tour mode. Now obviously they haven't got the licenses for the actual Lions Tour, so they've called it the Cats Tour. And then once you've clicked on this, it will load up this new tour game for you now. So we're gonna fly straight into it and create a new game. We are, of course, the Bears Gamer. Um, I'm not going to put any date of birth in there, just so uh, you don't know <laughs> how old I am. But we will be creating that manager now. We will be English. Like I said, we will be the British and Irish Cats, a.k.a. the Lions, on this tour of South Africa. Now once you fire it up, this is very very good from the developers, obviously a new update to the game. Um, obviously they haven't got the licenses but just implementing this mode now and giving us the option is very very good I believe and a big pat on the back to them for getting this extra content out to us. So if you look down the fixtures here, you will see we've got plenty of warm up, warm -up games before the main event towards the end of this tour. Our first match will be against Eastern Cape. Now I haven't implemented the mods and things for that part of the world so you will be getting blank badges and things like that but if you head over to the Discord I'm sure somebody there will be able to help you with the official badges and things like that to mod into the game. We continue now to the next date. We get to select our 35 man squad link to the eligible players so here we go this is our squad selection screen here we are we've got fullback if you can drop down and select different categories there and then you have different players in those positions we start at fullback of course we're gonna want ah I know what I haven't done straight away a very very obvious mistake if we go back to new game I've selected the default roster You've got to create got to select the up-to-date database so don't forget to do that like I have in your save obviously we all edit and play around with the different squads and databases so remember not to make that rookie mistake I was just looking there at Stalak Hoog who is that of course it's meant to be Stuart Hogg. Now once we get to the squad selection screen now, there we go, that's much better. So at fullback in the world class category, we've got Stuart Hogg, who I will be selecting. And we've got Liam Williams there. Go down to international and see how, uh, who else we've got. I think I will go with Anthony Watson as well. I'm just going to select two players at each position for now. If we go to the wings, world class, we got George North, of course, 51. Johnny May, Chris Ashton. Hmm, strange, no sign of, I mean, there's Josh Adams. We've got to get Josh Adams in there, haven't we? Um, we go up to international. I'm probably going to select this man, Johnny May. Perhaps a bit unlucky not to be in the actual squad go to world class okay let's get George North in there as well and then we want one more winger perhaps someone a bit younger let me resam it around here no Ollie Thorley there we go let me resam it we'll get him in as well so that's four wingers we go outside center 
world class. Manu Tualangi. Let's get that man in there. International Pundiaki. Jonathan Davis. Jonathan. Let's go Jonathan Davis, I think. Now, inside centre. Any there in the world class? Nope. International. So, who have we got here? I'm going to choose Robbie Henshaw. And then, oh. We'll go down one to national. I do like Joe Marchant. I really do. Gary Ringroad's another option. Two Joe Marchants there, which is very, very strange. 56, what is the difference between this one at the top then? Well, we'll choose the one who's 56 rated and we'll get Joe Marchant in there as an outside centre option. Hang on a minute, we're on inside centre. Yeah, sorry, inside centre. And we're going to fly half. World class. Plenty to choose from here. We're going to put Farrell in there because he can play inside centre as well. We're going to go damn bigger. That'll do for me there. Connor Murray at scrum half, of course, will be in. And I'm going to go for a cheeky... Danny Kerr at scrum half. Number eight, any world class? Yep. Talapau, Falatau, sorry. Billy Vunapola. Flankers, no world class flankers there. We will be putting Tom Curry in there. Josh Navidi. We're going to need one more, I think, aren't we? Let's go national and see who we've got around here. Hamish Watson, of course. Right, loose heads. World class. Wow, well, here we go. The skipper, Alan Wynn. Maro Itoji. We will need another as well. James Ryan, I do rate James Ryan. We'll get him in there. It's height, head, prop. World class. Two of these needed. Ty Furlong, Carl Sinclair. Lovely. No world class hookers, unfortunately. It's not something I thought I'd be saying. We're going to go Jamie George, Luke Cowan Dickey, and then loose head Joe Marler and Maku Vinopola. So, right, how many have we selected? We have selected 28 out of 35 players. So, let's go fly half as well. And let's see if we can add the man of the minute. Oh, we got Sheedy there we could pop in. But of course not. We're going to add Marcus Smith, the man of the moment. We're going to add... How many scrum halves did I put in there? Connor Murray. Yep, Danny Kerr. Go one more, shall we? Ali Price. That's three scrum halves. Select another flanker. Who should we go for? Hmm. National, international. Chris Robshaw now in the MLR. We'll whack him in there. What are we on now? 31. Some more, another flanker, and let's get Courtney Laws. So what have we got here? We've selected them, obviously. Dan Cole, we can't select Dan Cole, can we? Um, Andrew Porter. Yeah, why not? He was injured and couldn't make the real life tour. Whack one more of each from the front row in there. Ken Owens, Hooker, and finally, loose head prop, Sean Healy, perhaps. Who have we got? Rory Sutherland. Let's get Wynn Jones in there. And then that should be our 35. 
It looks like we've only selected 9 out of 10 front rowers, so we're going to have to get rid of someone. Um, going to have to get rid of... Look. I'm afraid to say it's going to be Hamish Watson. Right, so we need one more front rower. It's going to be Rory Sutherland. Right, here we go. Announce squad. Oh, I thought there was going to be some sort of big cutscene there for a minute. Right, first warm-up match. Let's go to the squad selection. Here we go then. Should we go full strength? Shall we go full strength? Right, let's go Joe Marler. We'll give him a run out in this first warm-up game. Hooker. Jamie George. Tight head. Now it's between these two, isn't it? We'll go Ty Furlong in this first warm-up game. Lock. Alan Wynn, the skipper. Maru Atoji, of course, is going to be our first choice. Locks. Oh, down the flanger. This is just going to be a mixed first squad, I think. Um, Tom Curry. A mixture of who will start this that first game. Number eight. Right, let's go for something interesting in this first warm-up game. Let's go with the Harlequins pair. Danny Kerr and Marcus Smith. Just to spice things up. Um, I'm going to go Farrell at inside centre just to provide Smith with that bit of experience. Jonathan Davis outside centre and then starting on the wings. We're going to Louis Reese Zamet and Johnny May, I think, and at fullback Stuart Hogg. So that is the starting fifteen. Bit of a mixture. Um, yeah, I mean, a bit of an experiment. Let's get the sub sorted. Cowan Dickey. Yeah, like I said, I think this is really good of the guys, uh, the developers of this game, to bring this extra content to us. As I just throw in some subs here. Adds a bit of spice to the game. Keeps things fresh. Probably need a bit more. So what we got? Five three split. Is that going to be enough? Whack Watson there. That should be okay. Continue. No captain selected. So here we go then. Of course. No. Nope. Alan Wynn Jones. Captain. Um, what are we going to go for? Inside centre drive? No, because that's Farrell. So we go number eight, base of the scrum. We will maul. Scrum half will be an opportunist. Danny Care. Fly half will be a playmaker. Structured and structured. We go to the team tactics here. We're balanced everywhere. I think when we get into the opposition 22. We're gonna be wanna be a bit more 
there and expansive. We'll keep it balanced there. And then we'll just stay structured in the defense, I think. Let's get off then. It's the first warm up game. I think we're just going to quick sim the warm up game so we can get through this tour in one video. Just to show you guys what it's about. And we have won 19 points to 6. Jonathan Davis, the man of the match, who scored for us. Um, Stuart Hogg with the one try of the game. How did Smith? 71 rating, care 76, so not too bad, but Jonathan Davis, our man of the match there. Um, let me go back to here, here we go. And South Africa won their first warm-up game against Georgia. So both teams starting the tour on a high. Um, we will go and change some players around for the second warm-up game so we'll put Connor Murray there at nine bigger will start fly half Joe March in the inside center North Josh Adams who we select as our other fullback it was Watto we'll give Billy a run out there Maku Carl Sinclair, Luke Cowan Dickey. We change a fair bit or not? Dan will come in there. We'll keep the video. We'll keep that lot there, I think. Just to. Um, Keep some stability, we shall say. Changing the subs around the whole time. Balance out. Ah, the old scroll bar. Curse strikes again. Barrel, we can play anywhere. Shoot a hog. So here we go. Let's get off to the next warm-up game against the Sharks. Oh, that's more like it. An absolute thrashing of the Sharks. Two tries for Vinopola. A try for Otoji. Two for Lydie 8. One for Josh Adams. One for Watson. Damn bigger man of the match. So, good stuff. Though it does look like we've got a couple of injuries there. Let's fly through to the next one. We have injured players. So Maku Vinapola. And Luke Kawandiki, unfortunately. Are the first to succumb to injury on tour. Yeah, let's, get, let's just whack straight into the next one. A pretty much same side to face the balls, but when you score 58 points, you don't want to be messing around with it too much. And another comfortable win. Maro Itoji, man of the match that time. Try for Josh Navidi, Joe Marchant, Porter. So another good warm up result there. No more injuries, it seems. Let's catch up on how South Africa have done. So they've beaten Georgia, they've beaten Namibia, they've beaten Uruguay. 
So we have South Africa A. Two more warm up matches to go. So there are injured players again. Who is injured this time? Ken Owens. Um, let's give Murray a rest this time and we'll go back to. We'll go Ali Price. Bigger will also get a rest for Smith again. But apart from that, I've been impressed, so. Don't want to mess around with it too much now we've hit a bit of the rhythm. South Africa 8. Yeah, we'll go another quick sim. Oh, dearie me. First loss of the tour, just like in real life, against South Africa A. Eh? It's a bit of a shambles there. Not great to see. Lost to South Africa A. Eh? South Africa beat Russia, so we got one more warm-up match against the Stormers before we head into the three main test matches. Josh Navidi has been banned. So we get Tom Curry back there. Hmm. What to do? We got a few injuries now, haven't we? Give Andrew Porter a start for his first. Luke Cowan Dickey's not injured anymore. We gotta give Win Jones and Toje arrest surely with one more game to go. So we go James Ryan. Courtney Laws. Number eight. Back to Falatau, I think. Bryson Smith, March and Davis hasn't had a rest, I don't think. Outside centre. Manu Tualangi comes in. Ugh, the old curse strikes again. Louis Reese. Johnny May. And we'll keep what's next. We'll probably play Hog. You on the bench now. Right, here we go then. Final warm up game of this Lions tour. It's going to be another quick sim against the Stormers. That is more like it. Billy Vanapola, the man of the match for us. Try scored by Tom Curry, Johnny May, Anthony Watson. Lovely stuff. Right. Let's head over to the main screen here. South Africa are beating Argentina in their final warm up match. So, next up is the big one. The first test of, well, first big test of this tour, of course. We are talking the first matchup against South Africa. Selected players, right then. Here we go. Maku is injured. So it's going to be Joe Marler. Jamie George. Or Cowan Dickey. It's going to be Jamie George. Sinclair, definitely in there. Of course, it's going to be. Alan Wynne Jones, Maru Itoji, Flanker, Tom Curry, Josh Navidi is still suspended, unfortunately. So we go Courtney Laws, I think, there. Number eight, it's between Falatau and Billy. I'm going to go Billy. 
the starting scrum half has to be Connor Murray. Starting fly half has to be Dan Bigger. Inside centre, I think we're going to go Farrell. To Alangi outside centre. Got to be Josh Adams on the wing. Stuart Hogg, fullback. Do we keep Johnny May there or do we go? I think we're going to go George North. So here we go. Let's get some subs on. James Ryan. Play along the back row. Danny Care. Fly half. Let's whack Marcus Smith on there for a bit of flair. We're going to go Watto and probably Johnny May, I would say. Right. Here we are then, guys. No captain selected. Oh, dear. Of course, it is that man. We'll keep the chosen tactics. Let's begin match. Here we are then. First test, South Africa. Who have they got? One toy. Hmm. You got Fafta Clerk. Andre Pollard. No Colby. Khaleesi. Hmm. Strange. Right, we're gonna get the old match engine out for this one. For the first test see how the Lions do against the Springboks. Oh, we got some nice little advertised hoardings. We will be speeding it up. And let's see how we go then. Lions to get us underway. Bit of an injury to South Africa. We've won the scrum. There we go. Barrel going to kick for goal there surely yep yeah, we're going to get the three points on the board another penalty there for the Lions South Africa have turned over at the scrum no real ah, I was going to say no real decent chance but Jamie Roberts has gone over for South Africa the first try of this test series Hmm. Oh, we've got another penalty. We're going to kick for goal again. Farrell to go within a point. No tries yet, but we've won a few penalties. Up and under from Connor Murray. We've got the ball back. See if we can do something before half time here. We have. No, oh, we. Great line break. I'm not sure why they didn't pass it there. There's an option on the left. Coming back to this touchline now, another up and under. Still got the ball. Nice little break on the edge of the 22. Lovely play. Dan Bigger has gone over for the Lions. First try of this series. Second half is underway. Lions with a six point lead. Turn kick to touch. Right, let's pause it on the 50 minute mark. Make some subs. Who is out on their feet? Owen Fowler in snow. Courtney Lord. Marowatoji. James Ryan's going to come on there. I haven't got an option at flanker. Farrell. Yeah, we haven't really. Going to have to go Anthony Watson, I think, inside centre. George North can be replaced by Johnny May. And we'll keep it like that for now. See what we do over the next 20 minutes or so. South Africa have won a penalty kick to touch. But we have won it from the line out. 
up and under again. Nice play from the Lions. A break there from Stuart Hogg, who goes over for the Lions' second score. About 15 minutes left, and we now have a comfortable 13-point lead. Let's make our last remaining sub, shall we? Marla and James. Sutherland. Ugh, what is going on here? Not sure, but whatever has happened, it's mucked it up. Danny Kerr's coming on. Marcus Smith is coming on. Here we go. 13 minutes to go, South Africa in a decent position. Wouldn't want him to score quickly here. Enough time to turn things around. Knock on though, we'll take that. Got possession still, only a few minutes to go. We've kicked it to touch. I think we thought time was up, but it wasn't. But no matter what happens now, we have won the first test. South Africa finish off with a consolation try. But 20 points to 14. Jamie George was our man of the match, 92 rated. 86, Maratoji, 89, Owen Farrell. An all-round good performance to start the series, I would say. We take a 1-0 victory in the first test. I think we're just going to get straight off to the second test now. Of course, if we win this one, we have won the series. So a key matchup. We're going to keep the same team, why not? They played well. Any big changes there? Not sure what's happened to Cheslin Colby. Really not sure, but who cares? Fire off to the second test, Johannesburg. Here we go then. Same stadium by the looks of it. Hang up off to the side. South Africa to start this second test. Let's see how we do. Oh, some good play in the middle. Good possession. A lovely break instantly. Damn bigger. So close, doesn't matter. Connor Murray has gone over. So a much better start for us. Didn't really get going to the second half last time, but we scored early in the first 10 minutes in South Africa. I've got a man in the sim bin as well, so time to make this count. Although South Africa has turned it over. Jamie Roberts has gone the length of the pitch to equalise. Seven points apiece. Man out of the sim bin. Lions are back. Connor Murray again. The OP scrum half strikes again on this game. We weren't behind for long. Interception for George North and he's gone the length of the pitch to score. We've already got three tries on the board, five minutes to half time. We of course will kick for touch there in games. Oh, we've got another Simbin for South Africa. Discipline costing them here. We have won the ball back. Half time, Claxon is there. Kick it into touch. Pretty pointless return there. Turn kick, which has led to South Africa. Faf de Klerk going over. Half time, one score in it. Very disappointing kick there. It's when that first half really cost us up and under here. Knocking down the door in the 22, but they have knocked it on. But we've won a penalty, and Farrell will take us 10 points clear now. 10 points clear. 25 minutes to go. Let's make some subs on the 60th minute mark. 
who's looking shocked damn bigger. Didn't see that, but he's injured. Everyone else is pretty... We'll get the Harlequins duo in then, because Connor Murray is a bit knackered. Jamie George will comma for Rory Sutherland. The rest we will keep there for the moment. Won the ball back in the ruck. Great breakdown from the front row. We are getting pushed right back here, though. We've made our substitutions. Ten minutes to go. South Africa with a penalty. We've won the line out. Big, big plays from us. Kicked it away. Eight minutes to go. Courtney Laws is in the sim bin for us. South Africa have gone over with three minutes to play. And that's a three-point game. Uh-oh. Um... North, yeah. And Watson on for Farrell, not sure that's a great move, but just need to freshen things up here a minute. Two minutes to hold on. South Africa have the ball, they've knocked it on. Right, kick it out, just kick it out. Kick it out. Yes. Maruatoji, man of the match, 24 points to 21, and the Lions have wrapped up this series in two games. Really, really good to see another solid performance, which means this third match is a dead rubber. Doesn't matter what happens. We will be winning this tour of South Africa and coming back home victorious of course we will play the third test a few injuries and a suspension as well I think we are gonna shake things up in the third test nothing to worry about Marcus Smith and Danny Kerr will be the 9-10 combination and Courtney Law's flanker suspended So, looks like Lydia will get a game. Any other changes? Let's get Johnny May a game, I think, on the wing. Ah, that scroll bar. Um, but apart from that, everyone has performed. Don't really want to mess around with it too much. Ali Price will come onto the bench at scrum half. Joe Marchant will come onto the bench. And Louis Reese. So let's wrap up this series. Again, yeah, just not sure about this South African squad. I'm not sure what they are going for here, but course we will take it let's finish off this tour in style hopefully whack it on to fastest and here we go can we finish with a bang a few players with a chance to make a name for themselves instant penalty within the first minute started the second game very very well can we do something similar Marcus Smith with a bit of a terrible kick there luckily we've kept possession just on the halfway line another penalty in South Africa got a man in the sim bin ah oh, lovely George North goes over I think that was Smith there playing creator was it one of his famous goose steps Who knows, South Africa, man in the sim bin, but they've still got possession. Sim bin is over. Back to full strength. We have turned it over there. Great play again from our forwards, and we've won the penalty. Kicking to touch again on the 22. 
up and under. What's going on here? Taking ages to get a scrum half in position. George North again. Missed conversion, so only a 12 point lead. And just South Africa's discipline's been terrible. Penalties everywhere. Half time on the clock. We're going to go in again. Stuart Hogg this time. And this third game has been a possession. Pro you know what I mean. The showboat in all the tricks have come out. Smith and Danny Kerr pulling the strings. 19 points to the good. Not sure exactly what's happening here. We've got a scrum. Back on to the 22. Looks like on the edge of a scrum again. Knock on, unfortunately. Um, let's give a few players a run out. Ali Price. We resam it. Watson. Tired. Furlong. If we can see out this comfortable victory. Another penalty. Let's just add salt to the wounds. 22 points to zero. Can we hold them scoreless? Another penalty. Another penalty. Just put this game to bed. 25 points up. 15 minutes left. This is an absolute mauling. It really is. Another penalty. Kick to touch this time. Miles clear. Let's maul to the line. There we go. This is an absolute walkover. Another penalty. Red card. South Africa have lost the plot. Will this be happening in real life? Will this be a comfortable 3-0 win for the Lions against South Africa? I do not think it's going to be this easy. That's for sure. Expecting a close series. Probably 2-1 either way. But of course I will be supporting the Lions. Ooh. South Africa have finally gone over for a consolation, but it's not going to make any difference. An absolute hammering. Jamie George, again, man of the match. But an all-round team performance there. No one really put a foot wrong. Owen Farrell has been key at inside centre for us. He really has. Another 90-rated performance. Let's see what happens now. The tour is finished. There we go then. Done and dusted. Big wins across the board. Let's see if anything happens. There we are. British and Irish Cats tour completed. Congratulations to the winners, the British and Irish Lions. It's time to retire. So there we go guys. That is the new British and Irish Lions tour mode on Rugby Union Team Manager 3. If you've got the game, check it out. It is free and it is certainly a good, good bit of fun picking your own squad and seeing how you do on a tour of South Africa. So perhaps that's something they could implement properly in uh, future releases because that was a good bit of fun. Almost like a draft mode, but yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed playing that. And again, pat on the back to the developers for adding this extra content for us at a time where obviously the Lions tour is taking place in real life. So we all want to play these sorts of things. So thank you very much. If you have enjoyed this video, please do drop a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of my tour of South Africa. And, you know, were there any shock surprises to, for you? Give me your predictions for the real British and Irish Lions tour. Will it be a 3-0 win like this one was? And, well, it was pretty easy, to be honest. Can't see that happening in real life, but... Hopefully the Lions will win. Of course, I get back to all comments. And if you haven't already and you're new to the channel, please do move that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you in the Virtual Scrum.